We've heard it time and time again. Right now, cities across our nation are seeing a rise in crime, but recently, more small communities in those cities are resorting to a simple addition to their neighborhoods in hopes of deterring crime, string lights. And here in Baltimore, a man has been working up the light every block in Canton for years now, trying to keep criminals out of his neighborhood. He first spoke about this months and months ago, so we thought we would check in. New at 11, Dennis Valera shows us how Chris Broughton's efforts are faring. From the police data we were able to get, total crime in Canton is actually up. However, when you look at specific categories, there are some declines. And the man responsible for putting up lights in the neighborhood say they've helped. The lights around Canton give the neighborhood a nice feel. Aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> and for many neighbors, a feeling of safety. We have two dogs at home, so we are constantly in and out. And that late night run it definitely feels safer um, when it's all lit up at night, when we're you know running across to the park and coming back home. I work at the hospital, and I arrive usually in the evening after dark. And so it's nice. I park on the street. It's nice that it's lit up. I feel safer. The man with the bright idea. Chris Broughton. My partner and I are, you know, back and forth down the street. Um, he's on one end. I'm passing the lights over to him, sliding my ladder down, then he slides his ladder down. He says around 60 blocks are now covered by lights, but how effective are they? Looking at police data, in the last year, there have been 558 total crimes in Canton, up from 400 in 2020. But some crimes, like robberies and burglaries, are down. Broughton says the lights are doing their job. One thing I usually do notice uh, on the local neighborhood Facebook groups and next door and stuff is a lot of the crime is happening in poor lit situations. In the years since putting these up, Broughton says it's gotten him closer with his neighbors, an unintended benefit. If your neighbors know you, then they know, oh, this person doesn't belong at that house, at that doorstep or, or in that car. Um, so that community building is a huge, huge piece to this. Chris Broughton would like all of Canton to be lit up with these lights. However, he is hoping for more neighbors to get involved to get it done, as well as some grant funding to help pay for it all. Reporting in Canton, I'm Dennis Valera for WJZ.